Hi everybody, um, today I'll show you what I packed with me for 10 days in Egypt in a backpack. This is the Calpac Terra backpack in the color violet. It looks, I've, I've not used it yet, I've just packed it, I'm planning to use it in this trip. A review of this will come later and a comparison with other backpacks of this kind. Um, it's got a lot of pockets, it's got a lot of organization. Uh, so just briefly, it's got a water bottle pocket here. You can access the uh, interior of the backpack from the top as well. It opens uh, like a suitcase, it's got pockets at the front. And like all the backpacks of this type, it's got pockets here and you can actually hide the straps and carry it in a suitcase. Um, mode um but that i'll i'll um, tell you guys later how it worked as a backpack and when i'll do the, when i'll do a review i forgot to say it also has a um, laptop um, pocket here as well anyway but that's not what we're here for we're here for what i packed in 10 days uh for an egypt trip um I will have this as well with me. It's a Uniqlo uh, bum bag. Uh, in here, I'll have my uh, medicine. Uh, sometimes I get uh, motion sickness, so I have my motion sickness bands, paracetamol, ibuprofen, um, electrolytes, uh, anything that you might need when away. Uh, I will also pack in here my this little pouch with my passport and money here and I'll add some credit cards as well and I will I also packed with me uh, this little fan it's a um, rechargeable one and it packs really really small I know it's gonna be really hot in Egypt so hopefully this will help me um, I'm planning also to bring a manual little fan as well, but I haven't packed it yet. So this is it. But this is what's going to be in this bum bag. Um, this backpack has two exterior pockets, three on top of it. They have little pockets as well. Once this is full, you can't really put anything else. It's really flat. In this lower backpack, I've added a travel tote by Vera Bradley. It's quite big, so if I get um, a few souvenirs, I'll use this as a personal item and this as a carry-on since I'm only carrying this backpack. So that's that in here. However, it's got a lot of organization. It's got a few mesh pockets inside, another one just there, one slip pocket, another zipped pocket here and a key leash as well which is brilliant i always know where my key is i never know where it is in this little pocket i just have a few hair clips nothing else as i said once this backpack is full it's very difficult to fit anything in these uh, pockets um you can um also use these clips to compress your stuff and also to secure to make sure that the zips don't pop um, and that's one feature that I liked very much. It looks quite sturdy. As I said, I've not traveled with it. It's quite light, uh, light for the type of backpack it is, but I'll give you more details later on. So what have I packed for 10 days in uh, a backpack for Egypt? Wrong zipper. <laughs> this is it. So as I said, it opens like a suitcase. And here is where I pack. In these, the, it's got two pockets over here. I've just packed uh, another little carrier bag, uh, which folds nicely. Um, I can use it as a beach bag if I want to, or if I do any shopping, I can just use that. And over here, I just packed a sarong. Um, I haven't packed any towels because we're gonna stay in a hotel so I won't need any towels there and I'm quite short for space as well so I have to be mindful of what I can and cannot pack in this backpack but I think we've packed quite a bit um, of stuff in it now um, inside it's got this uh, like a suitcase it has this compressible uh, straps as well so I've got a base um, 
cosmetic pouch. I have a little bit of makeup, um, some um, cosmetic things, perfumes, anything that I might need for there. It's quite big actually, and I packed quite a lot. So I will probably, I'll, I'm still thinking about it. I might downsize it, but at the moment it fits nicely. So it's coming. Um, I have a um, shampoo uh, bar in case I don't like the shampoo at the hotel these I like them quite a bit uh, I don't know how you pronounce it groom gram groom uh, they're quite a uh, good um, and they don't dry your hair and it's brilliant they're really nice so these don't count towards the liquids I always travel with these um, I have an erase face little do that and I have a clothesline. I am planning to do laundry while I'm there. Uh, I haven't packed yet, but I'm gonna pack uh, in a little bag some laundry detergent powder. Uh, so I'll be doing some laundry in my scrubber bag. Uh, this can double as a dry bag as well. It's quite good. Uh, I usually uh, wash, to be honest, my clothes daily. I hate packing dirty clothes. So generally I try to wash them at the end of the day if I can, or if I wear them twice, it is what it is. I can use it as a laundry bag as well. Uh, I have a hair uh, brush. I have a travel adapter. Uh, my travel cords are in my I forgot to pack them are uh, are gonna go in this uh, little pouch here um, this is the travel adapter um, it's got plugs for UK for Europe for um, Australia as well it's got quite a few uh, USB um, uh, ports and a USB-C port as well so it's it's quite handy it's pro protected in this little case yes it's bulky but actually it's quite good now um, shoes wise I packed them in, a, in this packing cube because I don't like them touching everything I've got I have uh, three pairs of shoes and the I'll be wearing some sneakers on the way there. So I've got this sort of more smart, smarter uh, sandals. Um, I have these sandals are technically hiking sandals from Skechers. Sorry, they're quite beaten up, uh, but they can double them as uh, water shoes. They're really, really comfortable so and light. So I've packed those. And I also have my uh, Arizona EVA Birkenstocks. Um, Again, they're very light, they're colorful, so I like packing them. I can use them for the beach or if I uh, just walk around. So these are the shoes. Um, in here I have two packing cubes. This one is with all my undergarments, socks, anything I need. And I have a pair of um, biker shorts. I have three swimsuits, one full swimsuit and uh, two bikinis. And then I have any other undergarments that I need. Uh, because I'm a sort of heavier size lady uh, and probably not because of that, because of the way I've designed, I have to wear, sorry, TMI, uh, chafe shorts. So I've got that in here as well because I like to wear dresses when I travel. Inside I have this packing cube from base. It's a medium sized packing cube. I'll show you in a minute what I've got in here. So this is the inside of the bag. It's got two mesh pockets here in which I packed. Here it's a little uh, pouch from uh, Kipling. I have a few bobby pins and some jewelry in there so uh, they are coming with and they tuck nicely in that little uh, pocket on the side so they're relatively protected uh, I like to wear jewelry just to spice up my looks because um, you know I like to look smart even if I travel in uh, with a backpack or a carry-on um, so that sits nicely there um, and in here has got another mesh pocket in which I packed my um, toothbrush I've just got this toothbrush from Amazon it's a Sonicare toothbrush um, it looks okay 
I haven't um, I haven't used it yet so I'm hoping it'll be all right and it'll do the job that it's meant to be doing it's quite compact and it's quite nice uh, I like to have a, an electric toothbrush with me however they tend to be quite bulky and apparently and this one recharges with a USB-C let me show you so you can recharge it here which means I don't need to carry extra uh, charging cords because I have it all for my GoPro for my um, iPhone as well and yeah that's that I forgot to mention actually now that I'm saying in here I will also pack my Kindle I don't have it with me it's in my bedroom because at the moment I'm reading a book so my Kindle will go here I don't go away without the Kindle so as I said in this pocket I'll have my electric toothbrush and I've packed a manual toothbrush as well just in case uh, I don't manage to charge it or as I said it's the first time I'm using it I can't say I rely on this too much because I don't know how it works so just a backup I've got that and that's all that there is in this backpack I love the color of it it's very summerish it's very girly uh, it looks quite rugged so hopefully it will be alright it's got a water bottle pocket I mean it's got I, I love it and it's quite light as well for a pocket uh, for a backpack of this size I'll add the measurements on this video but as I said I will do a review on this later on uh, now what I packed uh, my clothes are over here. This is a medium size base um, uh, ba base packing cube. I always travel with packing cubes, as you've uh, seen. It makes my life easier. It makes it nicely organized. So I, I like that. I haven't traveled with this packing cube yet. Uh, so I can't say how good or bad it is. The only thing I don't like about this, it's only got one uh, zipper pull on it instead of two. I like my packing cubes to have two zipper pulls, but um, for the size it is, it's really nice. I got inspired by um, t Leah Folds on TikTok to do uh, file folding uh, before I used to roll and fold them in a different way. And in this, I managed to fit everything I need for the, uh, 10 days. To be honest, even if I don't do any laundry, I'll have enough clothes to keep me going uh, between these two packing cubes. So here is what I packed. Uh, I'll open it up for you. Here we go, and it opens like this. Uh, here I have two t-shirts. They're those type of t-shirts that have silk at the front and a very thin jersey t-shirt type of material at the back. So I've got two of those. Um, I like to wear brighter colors uh, when I'm away because it feels nicer. And with silk, I like it to be patterned because it's less... Um, fussy <laughs> uh, so that's that uh, the reason I like silk when I travel is nice and cool and it's light to pack so two t-shirts uh, silk and jersey t-shirts and in here I have um, some um, uh, water shorts or um, sports shorts like that. so I pack them like so and then what uh, Leah Fold says you pack the width and the height of the packing cube. This is kind of a rolling type of folding technique and you just tuck them nicely next to each other. Now obviously I didn't do it all the way the width of the back of the packing cube but I arranged them literally in a, like a drawer type of thing. So when I'm there I don't even need to unpack at all. I'm an unpacker. I don't like putting my clothes in the... Uh, <laughs> in the drawers there so this is how it is at the moment so here is what i packed so as i said i've got these water shorts this uh north face water shorts uh if i have a full day by the water i like to have a longer type of um a short because that's what i like yeah. um then i have uh three pair of shorts i have uh, these shorts um, I have these shorts yeah. and 
I have these shorts. They all sort of match with all the tops I've got. So, uh, sorry, these are there. And I have these ones. I will try and add any links to anything that I've, uh, I'm showing you guys. I probably won't find links to everything, but what I can, I'll find, I'll, I'll put links there. So that one, two, three pair of shorts. Uh, this is a jumpsuit. So, like that. Um, and then I have my pyjama. Yes, I'm wearing, uh, I'm just packing one pyjama. Uh, to be honest, if I find that it needs to be washed, I can wash it in the morning, let it dry over the, uh, over the rest of the day and by the evening, because it's so hot, it's gonna be dry and I can reuse it, so it's not a problem. Uh, and then tops, I have one, two, three, four, five tops. Uh, one linen top and uh, three, four uh, silk tops. As I said, it's gonna be really, really hot, and I'm not. I don't want to have any type of hot, um, uh, strong or thick clothes. So these are nice and uh, cool. And then this is a linen shirt. It will double. It's actually a men's linen shirt. It will double as a beach cover up. Uh, and I've got one, two, three dresses. I have this dress. And I have two Kosan dresses, one blue and one red. And that's all I packed for a 10 days trip to Egypt. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned. I will try and add more videos, more travel videos. And uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.